sanitize you. Most people have found me via all my road to BSN videos so if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to subscribe down below and follow me on my social media my Instagram is at jazzthenurse which is really easy and I'm gonna link my snapchat because it's a really complicated name I literally just woke up maybe like an hour ago it's about 9 15 right now um, I've made my bed, kind of gotten myself ready for the day, turned on my candle. I really want to work out today, but I've been working out for the past few days, actually. I've gotten an Apple Watch recently, and it's helped me really keep track of how much I'm working out. I'll help let you see how consistent I've been. Literally every single day, um, since the 27th. Um, yesterday was an easy day. I didn't really move that much. I'll show you my statistics if you care to know. But normally, um, I'm supposed to hit about 580 calories at least. So, yeah. If you haven't already checked out my vlogs from Sedona, Arizona, which is the most beautiful place, um, and my vlog from Zion, I highly suggest you watch those videos. They're so fun. It was such a fun trip. I think I just got a phone call from Red Cross. I decided to actually start volunteering, um, especially because of everything going on in Lebanon. It really like, inspired me to do something more. And I signed up for Red Cross, but because of all the COVID stuff, and I know I'm going to be super busy with work once I come back, um, I decided to volunteer virtually. I'm not really sure what that entails, um, but I'll let you know as soon as I get more information. And then tomorrow I actually have a COVID test. Um, I wanted to get it as soon as I got back from vacation, but there was no appointments available, so that's why I decided to do it on the 6th. And I'm doing it at around 10.30, and I'm going to vlog that in a separate video. Um, but today I just wanted to do a productive vlog. As you can tell from the clip before, I have quite a few things on my to-do list. So I really want to clean my car. The interior is okay because I did clean it before I went on vacation, but the exterior, because it's really cloudy in the morning, it's very, um, dirty because it gets, um, all these, like, wet particles on it, and then in the morning it dries up, so gonna wipe it down hopefully that'll make it better um i need to get some cash from the bank i need to clean up my um my amazon account if you don't already if you haven't already checked that out it should be up by now um my amazon storefront i got a lot of questions about like what's on my desk like where i get this particular stand i'll show you to this stand I feel like everyone has asked me about it and I'll link it on my Amazon storefront because that's honestly one of my most consistent questions I get is where that's from and then a couple other things here and there um, I need to get some aspirin from the store because I have a freaking big ass keloid on my ear the way to get rid of it is you put aspirin like you crush aspirin and then you put it on your ear and that's how you get rid of it I need to call my credit line so that I can raise my credit. Um, and then I was really looking into buying a my first ever luxury designer bag. So I'm going to try and raise my credit. And then I want to call Louis Vuitton and see if they have a bag. If I have a bag, oh my god. 
I'm like so nervous about it. I've been watching all these videos, doing all my research on it, and I think it's a really good bag for me because I'll show you the bag. It's called the Multi Pochette, and maybe I'll like, I'll show you later. Um, and there's a little side thing with the strap. So, the reason why I want to get this one is because of the fact that it is three pouches in one, which makes it better for me because I don't have any accessories from Louis Vuitton, so you can kind of pull it apart and style it the way you want it. Um, my problem with it is the fact that it, it seems a little bit trendy, and I don't want the style to fade, but there's a lot of different ways you can wear it, like the little mini pochette you can use as a like nighttime bag, because you can use the little chain on the side to make it a nighttime bag, and that's what I really wanted. I wanted a day bag, and I wanted it to be also like a night bag that I could use whenever I'm going out, and I think because of the versatility of it, that's the reason why I would invest like so much money into it. I've been thinking about getting an LV bag for a really long time. I was going to get the Palm Springs one, and I'm actually really glad that I didn't because it's not as versatile of a bag, and I know I would have used it a lot, um, obviously in the upcoming years because I'm still young, but like when I go to like business meetings ever or go out for a night to eat, I definitely would not bring that bag because that would be kind of weird. Um, so yeah, hopefully they do have it, and then I really want to do some reading um i haven't finished either of these books and i've started them a long time ago um so i want to finish at least one of those today and then other than that i think i'm going to meet up with alex later on we are also going to be wearing masks because i still haven't gotten my covid test and i've been going out and about so i bought this cute winnie the pooh mask and then i also have his mask which is um the Baby Yoda mask, and they were like six dollars from Disney, which is pretty cheap. Um, I kind of expected it to be more because of the fact that it was Disney, but pretty good deal. Um, I bought quite a few other things from the store. Let me show you. Express is going out of sale or out of business, so I bought these sunglasses just so that I wouldn't have to constantly use my Ray Bans. These are like good ones to just wear whenever you're like also bought these. Nike shoes. I don't really know what um, style these are, to be honest with you. I wish it had the inside on the name, but I don't really know. These are the... Oh, here's the thing I got for Alex. I got him a t-shirt from Utah. He likes the really big oversized. And then I got his parents um, two mugs. And they're really cute, but I don't want to take them out of the little... Um, Protective. But yeah, it's going to be a productive day today, kind of getting back into my routine, getting back into just being at home because I've been home, I've been away from home for maybe like 10 days already, so kind of just getting back into my routine and doing whatever I need to do before I get back to work. So I think the workout routine for today is going to be running two miles and then just doing as much um, maybe ab work and a little bit of strength as I can. I I don't know, I've been feeling really tired lately. I don't know if it's because I'm consistently doing cardio like every single day and I'm running at least like two miles every day. But yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, found the phone number and I think I'm just gonna, I don't really know how to raise your line of credit because I've never actually asked anybody. I don't like to accrue interest so I always, always pay it right before they try and charge me interest so i'm gonna go ahead and call them right now and then i'll try to work out around 10. i think that's the plan thanks for calling discover but it has been your open so your credit line increase is complete it's available for use immediately and we'll be noticed we'll be sending you a notice confirming the increase okay perfect thank you so much Woohoo! okay that was easy i kind of figured it wasn't that hard to increase my credit but one thing that i learned about um at least i can cross that off my list but one thing I learned, I don't know if it was from my dad or from my boyfriend, um, is that if you can call them, you can get your interest knocked off for like, I think a month or two if you pay it in full. Because one time I didn't notice that I was, I had a year of no interest and then I suddenly saw that there was interest being charged on my account. And I told them, if I paid it in full, will you knock off the interest? And they did. So there's a lot of ways to get around it. You just have to call and like let them know. But I did get an increase on my credit, which is good. Um, I'm going to try and call Louis Vuitton now. It's going to be so weird. I never have called Louis Vuitton. See, I have no problem calling. Um, I have no problem buying or 
calling places that I've already called but whenever I like call for um whenever I call places I've never called before I feel really weird but I want to ask about the bag that I've been wanting for a long time it's a really popular bag and that a lot of like celebrities have been gifted it which made it really hard to get because everyone wants it welcome to louis vuitton client services your call may be monitored or recorded for quality okay so i realized looking at their hours that it's 11 a.m to 1900 so obviously they're not up yet the store isn't open so i'm just gonna go ahead and work out and then maybe around 11 i'll go ahead and call them because they're probably not even open yet it's pretty nice outside it's not too sunny like it's overcast, which is actually a really nice weather to run in. I guess I'll just wear these Aries and then this t-shirt. And then I got this Calvin Klein bra, literally so freaking cheap. It was eight bucks. Isn't that insane? It's such good material too. My only thing is this thing's gonna end up popping out, but that's fine, whatever. Do a little bit of strength because I have these little baby dumbbells to do some strength. Um, maybe a little bit of hit. Oh my god, so it was super easy. Um, I've literally never called. I look so trash. Oh my god, someone's calling me right now. That's probably the associate that's gonna ask me for all my information. Um, it's just my first and last name at gmail.com. So J A S M I N E M A N I T I at gmail.com. And it's only available curbside pickup right now. It's on. That's so interesting. Oh my god, what happened to my arm? So you call them, so I called the direct line and then I called the um, South Coast Plaza line and then they reached out to me after I gave them my information. And Dang, that's quick. That's really quick. This one is the one that I was initially super interested in because it's very cheap for one and then it's also, um, it's really, okay, it's not cheap, but it's their cheaper end and it's only one bag. But the thing is, my concern with this bag is the fact that this strap, when I was looking at like pre-loved bags, there was a huge, um, oh my gosh, it won't stop blurring like that. So for this bag, this strap, it wears and tears really, really badly. Versus if I were to get this one, I really want to film an unboxing video for it. So I think I'm going to do that, but I'm going to like dress up because I don't feel comfortable going <laughs> to Louis Vuitton looking like this. I only half fixed my face, but I was trying to message the lady back and forth. Um, I was trying to be like very particular because I had watched a lot of videos and I didn't want it made in the U.S. I wanted it to be made in France because that's where Louis Vuitton obviously originated. I'll probably pick it up in maybe a few minutes. It's not like I really have anything else to do today anyway. Um, probably just get ready, finish my smoothie, enjoy the rest of my morning. and then I did need to run a few more errands, so I think it's so good. I miss my own smoothies. I've been drinking the smoothies from like Nectar and stuff. For a fact, they only sprinkle their spinach in it. 
versus me. I like literally put a huge gulp of it. I don't want to finish the rest of my errands before I go, so I'll tell her maybe around 3 p.m. So this is what I'm wearing now. I look so so tan because of all the white I'm wearing But this top is from Forever 21 My shorts make me look a little bit chubby <laughs> They're from Cotton On and then I have my new shoes and socks from Nike, but I thought they'd be cute. They're a little bit more flashy since my outfit's more like muted <laughs> If you haven't already seen my whole playlist video, you should go check it out. It has this whole playlist. My friends want to hang out. I don't know if that's like, I'm just gonna stop at the bank after this and probably just go home. Might get some coffee just because I'm already out. But I did have a smoothie earlier. That should tie me down for a while. And also, I was gonna wear my Winnie the Pooh face mask because I just got one from, I just got it from the Disney store. I think I showed you guys earlier. But I felt like, because you know, people at Louis Vuitton are a little bit snooty, especially because I was on the phone with one of them and she was already a bit like snooty to me. So I was like, people are not gonna take me seriously. I look like I'm like 15 and then I'm gonna show up wearing a freaking Winnie the Pooh mask. So I see a bunch of people bought Louis Vuitton. Uh, once you get in, you just call the store and let them know you're in stall number seven. Okay, Jasmine, I did have it at the main store. Perfect. Have a good day. You too. Holy shit. Yo, dude. Dude, this is my first LV. I am so excited. Let me have my moment. Follow me on Snapchat as at jasmine underscore manatee. So I'm gonna be filming an unboxing. That's not gonna be part of this vlog, but I'll film it on a different one. Always sanitize. That's pretty much gonna be at the end of this video. Um, all I did after was pretty much eat with Alex and then get some boba with my friends. I didn't film the boba with my friends, but we did get halal guys for dinner. Um, I am going to be filming a video right now, so this is like my setup. It's really ghetto, and that's why I really like using the more natural lighting. So that, that's going to be it for this vlog. It was pretty productive. I just didn't get to go to the grocery store, and I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'm probably just going to walk there. That's the only reason why I really wanted to put that one off. But I'm going to be doing my unboxing right now, so if you guys are interested in seeing that, check out my video. I'm going to be coming out with it pretty soon. I'm not really sure which one's going to go first. It might be the this vlog and then I'll post this one next. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and don't forget to subscribe and follow my social media if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Mm -hmm.